Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike's Garage, and today I just had a short little video for you on the 3S GTE turbo engine that I'm putting in this car behind me. Uh, I thought I'd do a little walk around for you guys that if you're new to the car, new to the engine, um, while it's out of the car and it's all nice and clean, give you a little walk around, huh? Let's go. And guys, don't you just love the color on this car behind me? <laughs> just noticed the nice artwork that I had in the background in my last scene. Oh, real nice, real nice. Let's get serious, boys. Come on now. <laughs> I just hope it wasn't my seven-year-old nephew. Grounded. <laughs> Okay guys, here is the engine. Now this is a 93 J-Spec 3S GTE. And the differences between the J-Spec engines and the US, the J-Spec had 20 more horsepower stock and it had no uh, emissions on it. So it was a cleaner look to the engine, uh, which I like. Uh, this one is slightly built. I have West Coast Pistons, ARP head studs, ARP rod bolts. MLS head gasket. I got a CT20V turbo on it from a newer generation 3S GTE. Got a burke down pipe and just a bunch of other good stuff on it. Because uh, who knows the boost I'm going to be running, boys? 20, 25, fuck it, 30 pounds of boost. Oh. All right, let's get serious, people. Come on now. Okay. All right, guys, here is the front of the engine. As you can see right here, it says Yamaha. Yamaha had a collaboration with Toyota back in the day. Uh, they basically designed the head. And here you have your alternator. Alternator bolt, screws it in and out. That tightens it down. Here's where your engine mount would go. Here you have your crank pulley. I highlighted my uh, timing marks just to make it easier. Here you have your AC idler pulley. This would be your pulley uh, for your air conditioning that would go here, which I don't have hooked up yet, but I will soon. Okay, let's go to the top. Okay, here we have the intake. You got your intake, throttle body, throttle position sensor. Got the ATS throttle body inlet. That'll give you a few extra horsepower, depending on what boost you're running. Here's where your throttle cable would go. Got a ground wire. Oil cap. Got your OEM plug wires there. The valve cover actually has bolts from Prime. I bought these from Prime if you're wondering. Okay, moving down. Here's the heat shield. Under that is your exhaust manifold. And here's part of the exhaust manifold right here in red. And do yourself a favor, guys. Put anti-seize on the bolts and the studs. That'll be the biggest favor you can do to yourself when you go to remove the turbo again. Okay. Here we have the CT20B turbo. Coming out of the compressor housing is a hose going into the eBay boost controller, which is a pile of shit. I don't recommend this at all, but just showing you how to hook up a boost controller. So from the compressor housing into the boost controller, into the wastegate. Here's the wastegate. That's the other end right there, and then block the other end off. And there, that's how you put a boost controller on an MR2. Okay guys, and these lines right here are your coolant lines for your turbo, and they run up into the water neck housing. This is your water neck housing, and there's some sensors on the water neck housing. This one right here, under the distributor, is your coolant temperature sensor, or your gauge inside the car. And this green one right here, is the coolant temperature sensor for the ECU and under that one if you can see it in black right here this is your cold start timer injector switch and right above that that is your low oil uh, oil pressure sensor light okay now here we have the distributor and if you can see guys there's two bolts right there if you can see those two bolts that loosens the distributor so you can do the old school timing move and okay, let's walk around to the back. I don't know if the lighting is going to work back here, but uh, just wanted to show you guys where the knock sensor was. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's right here. You can see there's the alternator. There's where my finger is. And all this stuff is for the Tevis control. Toyota variable induction system. 
it shut off some intake runners just to give the engine a little more torque at lower RPMs, which is cool. Okay, now let's go to this side. I forgot to run through this side. Okay, guys. Here's where your thermostat would go in, and this is where your radiator hose would go on. Thermostat goes inside right here. If you put your thermostat on, the little rivet on the thermostat lines up with that line right here, if you didn't know that. Okay, here's your oil filter, dipstick. This is your oil return line. As you can see, the red hose goes up to the uh, red line goes up to the turbo. And if you can see the tin foil in there, that is the hose from hell. I like to wrap that with a little extra tin foil because uh, you do not want to replace that, guys. They call it the hose from hell for a reason. There's another hose from hell right here. If you can see that, I know lighting's bad, but. Uh, yeah, with the air conditioning on, there's no chance of getting that one either. Just make sure those hoses are in good shape. Okay, and as for the downpipe, this is the Burke downpipe, like I said. This is your O2 sensor, obviously. Uh, this is all stainless steel. Everything's stainless steel on the Burke downpipe, except for these bands right here. So I just put ceramic coating on them so they won't rust. And if you get an eBay downpipe, you're really gonna want this brace right here. Like an eBay pipe like this. Let's see, I got one on the wall. Okay, so you can see there's no flex section in there, so make sure you brace it, and uh, you're really going to want to do some modifications to that pipe before you put it on. Use an OEM gasket, and there's some metal you have to shave off so the wastegate doesn't stick. Okay guys, that is pretty much a wrap for the overview of the 3S GTE turbo engine out of the MR2. I just wanted to do this video because a lot of people say these engines are so hard to work on and they can be at times I just it's really not that bad and I just wanted to point out where a lot of the stuff was so it'll make it a little bit easier for you guys that are just buying these cars so okay I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys take it easy <music>